Okay, this is Mr. Great here in Mr. Great Tech Review Studio bringing you technological updates. On today's tutorial, we are on tutorial number 21. Tutorial number 20, we talked about the for loop command. And in for loop command, we did a lot of experiments and a lot of programs. We coded a lot of things in for loop command and we started with our delay program where we blink our LED. I think I have my LED with me here. Okay. In this program. Okay, okay, good. Good, 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 good. Okay, this is where in the yeah. in this program, this is where we blinked the LED, the light emitting diode the red right emitting diode three times and the white light emitting diode six times six times okay okay so this is where we did this program and uh, okay so that is it this is where we blinked the red light emitting diode three times and the white light emitting diode six times and we went through the program and uh, I went through the program you can see through the program and uh, this is red pin is equals to 2 white pin is pin 12 I use pin 12 and the left time is 500 milliseconds and red blink is three times uh, white blink is what six times and we use a J as a counting word variable but here I change it to E so you can still use E but J and I is universal accepted uh, counting vari counting variables uh, but i can still use e and it worked out for me okay on that tutorial i use j because i like to use j which is universally accepted okay in the case of using e in a, some other programs e may might mean another thing so i think why they're using j and i is uh, based on the how the c plus plus program is structured uh, j is j uh, it doesn't mean any other thing okay so but i use e and it worked for me okay so i used e e worked okay so and he said okay let's use j okay let's still use e so in this conditional statement and uh, okay in this uh, for loop command sorry we have a conditional statement inside the for loop command which is e is less than or equals to what red blink uh, and this is the conditional statement and this is where this is where the looping this is where the counting starts this is where the loop this is where the loop starts this is where it loops okay and um, this is where you loop as long as this condition is true this condition is true it will continue to loop as long as this condition this condition look at this condition okay as long as this condition is true this white program white pin high we continue to loop as long as this condition is true it's only when it is false that it will turn low and move to the next one to the next uh, one which is what the upper one okay okay let me start with this uh, as long as this condition is true it will continue to what to loop as long as this condition is true so and this is the start of the program e equals to one and if e is less than or uh, equals to red blink which is three times red blink is three times and the this program will continue to run if this if this condition is true if this condition is true this program will continue to loop this put to loop and this is what you do at the end of each pass at the end of each pass this is what you do at the end of each pass that is e is equals to e plus one and knowing that e is equals to one that is one plus one is two that is it continue to count at each every counting it will make e it will add one to what to e so this is what you do at the end of each pass this one this one this one uh, sorry this is what you do at the end of each pass increment of one to e adding one to e and this is where the program starts and this is where the program starts this is where the program starts okay and this condition 
keeps the program running as far as this condition is true this one as far as this condition is true as far as this condition is true this program continues to run as long as this condition is true so this program continues to run so that is it for the last program and here we are again printing with the serial monitor we are not going to do the led experiment again the light emitting diode using the light emitting diode to count and we are going to use our stray monitor in our today's uh, in our today's program we are going to use our stray monitor to count okay let me we're going to use our serial monitor to count on our today's program okay let me put camera to okay. So we are going to use our serial monitor today to print out this command and uh, in today's we are going to see how we can print it out with our serial monitor like you have in this place you have in this place you say e for okay int the delay time is what the delay time is 1000 okay let's make it uh, this one thousand okay one thousand is okay one second and int which is the counting variable is what is j let's use j universally accepted let's use j and the, our serial begin serial dot begin this is the baud rate of our serial monitor i choose to use 9600 because i love using 9600 and uh, okay so this is on our voice setup then and just like i told you we are not going to turn any pin high or low or we're not going to make use of output our output pins we are just going to make use of the serial monitor only on today's tutorial only the serial monitor okay so okay so only the serial monitor now so we have only the serial.begin turning your serial monitor on. You check my previous tutorial on serial monitor, how to do printing with your serial monitor. I explain all these things in our previous tutorials. Okay, and I, so this is where we, in the void loop, this is where we write our program. This is our for loop command. Inside our for loop command, you have a conditional statement, which is what E is less than or equals to 10. So we use J, so let's see. Let's make use of J so that it's universally accepted. Okay, let's use J. Let's use J. Okay. Okay. Let's use J. Good. Okay. Very good. So now here is J. It's okay. So for First statement, a for loop command. In this command, you have four uh, brackets, opens and closes. Bracket open and closes. You put your what? Your for loop command here. Your for loop statement. Your for loop command inside this place. So, okay. Now you open glory. You close glory to bind what? To bind this what? To bind this what? This command. This for loop. You open glory, you close glory. Okay. Then serial dot print in line. Okay. Sorry, serial dot print in line. This one. This. Serial dot print in line. Print what? Print E. No. Print what? Print J. Because oh, we are using J. Print J. Print in line. Print J semicolon okay so we are going to print in line then we are going to print in line we are going to print what we are going to print j and our delay is what delay time which is our delay time is what this is our delay time this is our delay time this is delay time is what our delay time is 1000 milliseconds which is one second okay so that is it so this is our delay time we use variable for our delay time which is 1000 milliseconds so it's a delay time that means it will delay after what after one second it will print another one another code another number okay so that is it then this is where this for loop ends and serial dot print in line bracket open bracket close semicolon is for you to give a space after each word after each loop 
after each loop you give a space you give a space that's why i use serial.print in line after this program after this bind after this one after this one after this glory i put serial.print in line before the end of the program before the end of the void loop this is the end of the for loop and this is the end of the for loop command this is the end of the for loop command from this glory to this glory the open and close glory this is the end of the for loop command and this is the end of the void loop and this is the end of the void loop okay so that is it so in between the end of the surya the for loop command and the end of the void loop you put surya.print in line in parentheses and semicolon so that you can give a space after each end of the loop that is after this after this to start again from one again to count again it will give a line okay so that is it okay so let's go and uh, upload this program and see just like i told you at this junction this place is the start is the start of this program okay this is blinking okay i could have called up the other let's see let's use this as an example like i just said this place is the start of this program okay we are not using this one let me just use this let me use this okay this is the red link this is the program that is running now okay so like just like i said this place this one is the start of this program is the start of this one of this one and at the end of this program this is as this program we continue to run this one we continue to run as long as this what this red blink is what is true as long as this conditional statement is true this is the conditional statement inside the for loop command as long as this conditional statement is true this one we continue to run only when it is false that is going to jump on this one and for it to continue to run there must be an increment of one so this is what you do at the end of each pass this is what you do at the end of each pass this one so you continue to add one to e which makes it two and two is what is less than or equal to three which is the red blink which is true two is less than three so it will go high so increment of one again e plus one which is three i said three is equals is less than or equal to red blink three which is three is what three is equals to three which is what if it's true high it will turn it high you add one again this is what this is where you add this is what you do at the end of each pass this one increment of one so you add one again it becomes four and four is what is equals to or less than what red blink and red blink is what red blink is what red, red blink is red blink is three and four is not equal to four is not less than so it is false since it is false it will jump and they move to this one to this program now it will jump and move to this to this white to the white led which is this one to the white led which is this one and the white led this one continues with the same process the same process this is where it starts the start this is uh, the start of the program and uh, this place you loop as long as this is true you loop as long as this is true and this is your increment this is what you do at the end of each pass this is what you do at the end of each pass so that is it <coughs> That is the end of the story on this one. I think it is well understood now because this uh, this for loop, I've got a lot of question on this for loop and how explaining this and over and over again. I think it's going to make sense. Okay, okay. So let's go and print. Now we are going to print. We are going to bring our serial monitor. We are going to print with our serial monitor. We are going to print this. We are not going to use this again. We are going to now use 
our Surah Manito to print out this figure so that it one can also, uh, I, I think, uh, I will expand it very well using the, uh, you will understand it very well using the Surah Manito. So we have done the hardware and uh, we are going to do the software, which is the Surah Monitor, using Surah Monitor on our for loop command. Okay, so let's upload this program and uh, let's use our Surah Monitor and print it in our Surah Monitor. Wow, something is wrong here. Okay, okay, delay time, expected status exit into delay time. Okay, okay, expected to initialize before setup. What is wrong with this one? And okay, okay, see what is wrong here. I did not put a semicolon. Okay, so let's put semicolon. Wow, so put semicolon. Okay, very good. Very, very good. Okay, okay, put semicolon. Let's go again. Okay, and see. Okay, thank you. Now we have our serial monitor here. Okay, let me bring it. Oh, wow. That's very good. And let me also reduce it. Okay, so you see our serial monitor. This is our serial monitor. Let's clear the outputs. Let's start again. Okay, four. J is equals to one semicolon. J is what is less than or equals to ten. Okay, so as long as J is less than or equals to ten, it will continue to count. Okay, now J is equals to J plus one. J is equals to J plus one, and J is one. So one plus one is two. Uh, two plus one is three. Three plus one is four. Three plus one is uh, 3 plus 1 is 4, 4 plus 1 is 5, and it continue to count, continue to count, as long as this condition is what is true. As long as this condition is true, it will continue to, it will continue to count as long as this condition is true. So that is it, and this is what you do at the end of each pass. This is what you do at the end of each pass. This is your increment. Okay, this one okay so that is it it will continue to count as long as this condition is true so that is it okay okay so it's counting mm. we are good to go now you see this space now you see this space after each end of the loop the overall loop after each end of the loop after the end of every loop you give this space this is what this one is doing Okay, so now so it will continue to count as long as it will continue to count as long as this condition is true. Continue to count as long as this condition is true. Okay, and this is the increment. This is what you do at the end of each uh, each uh, each part. Okay, so now let's. Change some features inside the statement and uh, maybe let's count. Uh, let's see how when let's make it to count from five to ten. So, what are we going to do? Counting from five to ten and come back to five again. I think we are going to change this. We are going to change this and uh, okay. And uh, we are going to change this. And let's upload and see. Give me a serial monitor on. Okay. Okay. Let's clear output. Okay. So it's now counting 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. So that is it. So now, if you want it also to count from, you want us, you want to count from all the even numbers. What are we going to do to count the even numbers? We are going to come here to count the even numbers. It will start counting from two. Two is an even number. 
the first even number after one is two so we put two in that all i think we are going to say plus two because it will be incrementing on two plus two so we are going to say plus two okay now let's uh, upload and see okay okay it's done let's open our serial monitor let's clear our output let's start again okay so two four six eight ten two four six eight ten okay now let's also count backwards counting backwards from ten what are we going to do okay Counting backwards from 10 is very simple. Why I'm doing all these examples, you see why I'm doing all these examples is for you to understand, for you to understand this for loop command and for you to have a clear understanding of the conditional statements binding the for loop command, for you to have an understanding at which point is the increment that is it. So that's why I'm doing all this point for you to see where you start your program, where you end your program, where you loop your program inside the for loop command. That is it. That's why I'm doing all these things. I'm changing figures. So for you to see using serial monitor, I've done the practical aspect of it, the hardware, using the LED. Now I'm using serial monitor for you to understand how you can be able to do this for loop command. Because understanding of this program is uh, is somehow is one of the if you have the understanding of this program of these commands of this coding you will do more when it comes to real life application it's not only just putting in figures and rest of them if you understand how this command works how it works when it comes to hooking up sensors interfacing of sensors and other things inside the Arduino IDE using your C++ coding uh, you find out that you will go very far and when nobody is there you can solve your problem and you see can see real life problem and you solve it with your Arduino uh, Arduino board and your Arduino program, your IDE. Okay, so that is it. So now let's go back again and see. Let's go back again and see. Uh, okay, one more thing, one more program before we call it a day for today. Okay, so let's count backwards and we have counted from five, even numbers. Okay, now let's count backwards and uh, let's count backwards. So in this, what are we going to do? We are counting backwards. Uh, we are starting our program from what? Okay. When we are counting backwards, we are starting from 10 because we want to count. That's why I say, you see now the program, it starts from here. We are counting backwards. You start from here. You start from here, this place. This is where you start from counting backwards. You start from 10. Starting from 10. So start, this is where the program starts. So since we are counting backwards, we start from here. So we say, okay, 10. Okay. J is equals to 10. Sorry. It's equals to, equals to 10. We are counting backwards. Okay. This one, let me leave this condition. Let me go to this one. J is what? Since we are counting backwards, we are counting backwards. It's going back. Since it is going back, what are we going to put here? Since it is going back, uh huh. What are we going to put here? Since we are going back, we are going back. Starting from ten, it's minus now. Eh? Ten minus one, nine. Nine minus one, eight. Eight minus one, so it's minus. Check. Sure? Yeah, it's minus. So now we use minus. Here, yeah, instead of plus, we use what? We use minus. J is equal to what? Minus 1. We are counting 1 down. We are not counting. We are counting even minus 1. Okay. So, that is it. So, we are counting backwards. Okay. So, that is it. Okay. Now, let's see. Oh, greater than. Okay. So, now, J is greater than or equals to one at this point in time this is where the program stops as far as when this is false it will start going again so it's not going to go to minus go to zero 
and the minus one minus two no 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 okay at this point i think this program is going to work now okay okay now i think you can see what how this thing is causing us up and down okay let's go again okay you can see it's moving okay one good very good okay now we have gotten it so now you can see hey, this place is very very important in your this conditional statement is very very important in your for loop command okay this conditional statement is very very important so any mistake you make here we alter the whole program so you have to be very very careful of this place so now what it to count from back from 10 start from here increment of what minus one that is this minus and once it get to one it will start again this is where it start looping again okay so that is the end of the drill so that is the end of the drill now oh, this one is a tedious one it's very tedious and uh, i like it it's brainstorming is brainstorming is brainstorming is brainstorming okay so next time we are going to go to while loop and i think i've done justice to I've done justice to this uh, the for loop command with the Surya monitor with the LED with this LED. I've done justice to this for loop command, and I believe that you must have understood this fun. You must have understand this for loop command. Uh, for you, give me your comments down the comment section, and uh, if you don't understand, I will still maybe I will still do more one video on the for loop command. But I think with this serial monitor and printing of numbers and uh, we are okay with it we are okay with the follow command and then the next uh, command we are going to do is the while loop command the while loop command that should be on tutorial number 22 the while loop command okay see you next time on our tutorial most excellent Arduino tutorial and remember to bring come along with your most excellent Arduino starter kit the most excellent Arduino starter kit Okay, so I love this data kit. I have my reasons because everything I actually need to teach the basic aspect of Arduino is inside this data kit. So I will encourage you to get one for yourself so you come along so that let's explore the world of tech. So goodbye and see you next time. God bless you. Like and share this video so that others will benefit. And your one and only Mr. Great here in Mr. Great Tech Review Studio bringing you the most excellent Arduino tutorial. Thank you very much. God bless you. Bye bye and see you on the next tutorial on tutorial number 22 on Wild Loop Command. On Wild Loop Command. God bless you. Bye for now.